To get regular updates, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon. Hello friends, this is Manohar Vira from Exambin. This is a continuation part of our video series on introduction to Indian polity. If you have not watched the previous two sessions, links are given in the description. Watch them first and then continue to this video. Please do share the video with your friends if you find this session is helpful. Okay, let's get started with the today's session. In today's session, we are going to see about the Government of India Act 1919, Simon Commission and the Communal Award of 1932. First, we are going to see about Government of India Act 1919. This act came into picture when the Indian National Congress became very active during the First World War and launched the Home Rule Movement. This is also called Montego Chemsford Reforms. Chemsford was the Gen Boy's Troy. Montague was the Secretary of State. On August 20, 1917, the British government made a declaration that the policy of His Majesty's government is that of increasing association of Indians in every branch of administration and the gradual development of self-governing of institutions with a view to progressive realization of responsible government in British India as an integral part of the British Empire. Montague and James Ford were entrusted with the responsibility of formulating proposals for the said policy and the Government of India Act 1919 gave a formal shape to the same. The report of Montague James Ford led to the enactment of Government of India of 1919. The Government of India Act 1919 introduced Dayachi or dual government. The Dayaki was introduced at the provinces and not the centre. This act demarcated the central and provincial subjects. The provincial subjects were further divided into transfer subject and reserve subjects. Transfer subjects are those subjects that are administered by the governor with the aid of ministers and responsible to the legislative council in which the proportion of elected members was raised to 70%. Hence the foundation of responsible government was introduced in the narrow sphere in the form of transferred subjects. The reserve subjects on the other hand were to be administered by the governor and his executive council without any responsibility to the legislature. The source of revenue was also divided into two categories so that the provinces could run the administration with the aid of revenue raised by the provinces by themselves. Provincial budget was separated from the central budget. The control of the governor general over provinces was retained by empowering the governor to reserve the bill for the consideration of the governor general. Through the Government of India Act 1919, bicameralism, that is, two houses, upper house and lower house, was introduced at the centre. The upper house was called Council of State, composed of 60 members of whom 34 were elected. The lower house was called Legislative Assembly, composed of 144 members of whom 104 were elected. The powers of both the upper and lower houses were equal, except that the power to vote supply, that is, budget, was given only to the lower house. The concept of elections was introduced. The majority of the members from both the houses are elected directly. The Act of 1919 extended communal representation for Sikhs, Indian Christians, Europeans and Anglo-Indians. This Act provided for the establishment of Public Service Commission. Accordingly, the Public Service Commission was set up for recruiting civil servants. The Act of 1919 also provided for the separation of provincial budget from the central budget. Province means a smaller area, just like a present-day state. Today we have two budgets in the country, central and state budgets. This started with the 1919 Act and even after the commencement of the constitution, we continued with the same. The 1919 reforms failed to fulfill the aspirations of the people of India and this led to Swaraj or self-government agitation under the leadership of Mahatma Gandhi. In the year 1927, a statutory commission was appointed under the chairmanship of Simon to inquire into and report on the working of the 1919 Act. Next, we are going to see about the Simon Commission. The Simon Commission was appointed by the British government in November 1927. This was a seven-member commission. The chairman of the commission was Sir John Simon. The purpose of the commission was to report the condition of India under the new constitution that is Government of India 1919 Act. All the members of the committee were British. Hence, all the parties boycotted the commission. The Simon Commission submitted the report in the year 1930. The Simon Commission recommended for the abolition of Diachi. This commission also recommended for the continuation of communal electorate. The British government convened three roundtable conferences to consider the proposal of Simon Commission, the conferences to be attended by the representatives of British government, British India and Indian princely states. The three roundtable conferences held between 1930 and 32. Mahatma Gandhi attended the second roundtable conference only. 
On the basis of these discussions, a white paper on constitutional reforms was prepared and the same was submitted to the parliament. The recommendations were incorporated into the Government of India Act 1935. Communal Award of 1932 On August 4, 1932, the Communal Award was announced by Ramsay MacDonald, who was the then British Prime Minister. This is meant for providing extending separate electorate to schedule caste. In fact, the concept of separate electorate for depressed classes was raised by Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. The proposal was accepted by the British and announced the communal award. Gandhi opposed this on the grounds that this proposal would disintegrate the Hindu society. Mahatma Gandhi began indefinite hunger strike in Yaravada jail that is uh, located in Pune, Maharashtra against the separate electorate for scheduled caste. With this, we have come to the end of this session. Please do subscribe to Exam Bin channels and also to the notifications so that you can get every new lesson posted on Exam Bin right now on your YouTube application. Thank you.